Look at that Patrick Warburton in the top right. <laughs> Take a hey, look at him. Hey, it's me, Patrick Warburton. Oh. I'm going to oh, Peter. <laughs> hey, hey, Peter. You hey, silly Peter. little bee. Hey, 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 Peter. hey I'm going to hit you in like the head with bee. my like hair dryer. Bee. Hey. It's like a bee. Hey, like hey, Barry right. B. Benson, I'm gonna hit you. Oh! Barry. Well, here we are. Well, here we are. I mean, it was only fair that after uh, the fantastic run of Shark Tale for the PS2 that we would play B-movie game for the Nintendo Wii. Yeah, of course. I mean, it's it's the next logical step because in the um, official uh, DreamWorks chronological timeline, B movie comes directly after Shark Tale. Right, in absolutely. The, uh, in the uh, cinematic universe, everybody knows this. Everybody knows this. Every everybody knows that Barry B. Benson is Oscar the Shark Slayer's only child. Yeah, uh, the the scene, the pregnant, like the birth giving scene in the extended cut of Shark Tale was a little weird, but, but it, that's why but it's like, in the extended cut. But it was also artistically beautiful. I don't understand why they took it out. You know. Yeah. I mean, like, well, okay, I understand why they took it out, because, you know, it's like, it's a kid's film, and it was a little bit... Oh, hey, the game just started glitching and slowing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. These cut This cutscene is going at half speed. I'm gonna skip it. <laughs> <laughs> Seems logical. It's because... It's because our Nintendo Wii just can't handle this. Our Nintendo Wii just cannot handle this game i mean not it, in the slightest because it's so good right i mean like look shark tail for the ps2 was good okay i mean it's the best game ever but this right here this is the best game ever you know yeah like listen we mm, oh, there's jerry yep. seinfeld like i said wait like i was saying in the olden days this movie not not this movie well yes this movie and this game the best ever the best Just look at ever. these graphics. Just look at these graphics. I mean, like, you won't get this, uh, at, like, with Crisis 4. Yeah, I was about to say, Call of Duty who? <laughs> Breath of the Wild who? Horizon Zero Dawn? More like Horizon Zero. Zero Yawn. <laughs> that actually got a laugh out of me. That's, like, a genuine laugh. <laughs> yeah, that's because it's a genuinely good joke. <laughs> it's a good jape. Yes. I want to no, know if um, this is actually Jerry Seinfeld. Um, I, I can check to see, but uh, I feel like this game was so good it actually repelled Jerry Seinfeld because he wasn't good enough. <laughs> and, and that's saying a lot. That's saying a lot because we all know how great Jerry Seinfeld right. is. He's actually an inspiration. Also, I was taking a look at um the DreamWorks uh, movie Lore and such, right? Yeah. And uh, I, I realized that one thing that confuses a lot of people about like the the cinematic universe of DreamWorks is um so B movie comes directly after Shark Tale, correct? Right, right. Then how come uh other um DreamWorks uh universe movies such as Madagascar Wallace and Gromit, Over the Hedge, Flushed Away, and Shrek the Third all came out between these two movies? Huh. Okay, what's your theory? Well my theory is that um, starting at Madagascar, the, the all those movies were one big flashback. Oh. Like, you know that scene where Alex, the lion, no, it starts with Marty dreaming about being in the wild. Okay, right? really quickly, this game is like open world right now. Are you seeing this? Like Breath of the Wild, who? I was about to say, is this B Skyrim? B Rim? I I'm trying to think of a better pun for this. Sky B? Sign rim. Oh, no. there we go. That's a good one. Let's go with that. This is sign rim. Sign rim. Sign rim for the Nintendo Wii. Foos Rodon. <laughs> What's the deal with the Dark Brotherhood? <laughs> anyway, you were saying about Craven the Craven breaks in wearing a Dragonborn helmet. <laughs> Jerry, you're not going to believe this. <laughs> Okay, so what were you saying about the flashback? The, uh, the, the um, timeline? So at the very beginning of Madagascar, um, uh, Marty is having a dream of being in the wild. Right. I think that, um, the entire movie of Madagascar, um, is just a flat, is like that whole imagination spot. Right. 
and it ends with them being on Madagascar, and within the imagination, um, they realize they're stranded there forever. So they further have an imagination where they imagine um, all of Wallace and Gromit over the hedge flushed away, <laughs> and Shrek the Third, and then B movie is just like a snap back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Yeah, because bees can fly. <laughs> Because according to all known laws of aviation, that that's what, that's why they explained at the beginning of the movie. Oh, okay, okay. It's it's yeah, it's like a it's like a foreshadowing thing where they're revealing. Oh, snap back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. These bees can fly no matter what you say. Yeah, exactly. I'm glad um, that we've explained also, this universe. What was that? I said, I, I said, I'm glad that we've explained this universe. I, I know that our viewers can get a little bit confused about these timelines and stuff. Like, yeah, I mean, like, yeah, Marvel DreamWorks. Cinematic Universe has nothing on this in terms of complexity. But, like... Yeah, DreamWorks has always had a complex cinematic universe. Right. They've always had just, like, a like a, um, like a strangely intense lore for like a, for like a kids movie studio right and they've kept it and they've kept it under wraps but this extended universe has been all like every, all 34 films have been incredibly important for uh the dreamworks universe given two exceptions okay those two exceptions being how to train your dragon and how to train your dragon 2 because those are just filler movies yeah they're just filler and no one likes them no one likes those movies they're just stupid filler yeah, everyone hates How to Train Your Dragon and Man, How to Train Your Dragon you know too. They're bad you know movies. What? Toothless, more like ruthless. For destroying... Are you playing Peggle? I'm about to play Peggle, yes. Well, not Peggle, but... Uh... Pachinko. Yes. Well, it's sort of a weird... I mean, oh, I, I don't control the dropping. They drop it, I catch it. It's it's a Picacho. Okay. All right, I see. I, I think you're supposed to catch the brown ones. Oh! No, you are supposed to catch the brown ones, because the brown one is the one that's zero out of five. <laughs> Wait, no, and you also have to catch the gold one, because those are four out of ten. I don't... This is some deep... These are deep game mechanics. I don't get this. What You the... have to catch all of them, include the brown oh, ones. Oh, oh, no, my controller vibrated. I'm not supposed to get them. That's the limit. Five is just the limit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> If you get five, then your B explodes. <laughs> if you get five, then you get taken out by the dark buzzer hood. <laughs> dark buzzer hood. That sucks. <laughs> Yay. Oh, geez. I don't even know where to be. Oh, sorry. Oh, bees. I don't even know where to begin with this. <laughs> Well, why not start from the beginning? <laughs> Don't you have a caller ID? No, but you have a caller ID. Ryan, listen. If you're gonna if you're gonna sit here, if, if you're gonna sit here and spew this uncreative B pun shit, I'm gonna need you to leave my channel. I'm done listening. <laughs> these these cutscenes are bad. Also, 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 I t I totally just remembered this from the from the one time that I test test ran this game out. Yeah. Hold on. Um. Are there you it is. The B car. There it is. Wait. Grand this Theft. This is Seinfeld. This is Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto. This game is the answer to all of the problems with open world games in the modern era. Yeah. People, also, people did, are looking on to Skyrim and people are saying that Breath of the Wild is like a landmark in open world design and that video games coming in the next like century are going to be looking back at those games and being like, wow, they really set the precedent for good design. Why not look back at B-Movie for the Nintendo Wii, the one game that got it completely right? Exactly. Also, I did some research, and don't you worry your pretty little face, Judy. Okay. Because Jerry Seinfeld is voicing Barry in this oh, game. Oh, thank God. Also, the ugly thing, my face is pretty. That's nice. That was off script. <laughs> hey, did you... Hey, also, I'm learning a lot about Jerry Seinfeld today. You want to know the first <laughs> TV show that he uh, acted in? What do you find it interesting? What was it? It was called Benson. Are you fucking kidding me? There's no way. It It's Benson in 1980. He played a character named Frankie. B-movie is just one big reference joke. 
This entire movie is just one big throwback Thursday. I mean, I mean, he, the whole thing came from Jerry Seinfeld walking up to DreamWorks and saying, Hey guys, you guys can animate, right? Yeah. <laughs> so that means you have unlimited, like, possibilities. You can do anything you want, right? Yeah. All right, so get this. <laughs> a B movie, but with bees so it's so so it's a b movie <laughs> i'm about to play b crazy taxi hey we see that you have how to train your dragon three in the in the in the preparation cut that we're making this movie about bees <laughs> hey cut well, that I'm out the writer cut that movie out would you like me to go over that no again? i don't want you to repeat the instructions i just Oh my god, what is ha- Oh, I did a donut! Woo! Woo! Uh, wait, I need to do a bee pun for donut. D uh... I got uh, nothing. Yeah, I don't think there is one. I was gonna say, if I have to like press it, like, like precision press a button to pick this guy up, I'm gonna be so mad at this game. Let's go! This is like the most boring yeah, crazy, crazy taxi. taxi. Yeah, this is the most boring crazy taxi ripoff I've ever seen in my life. Crazy taxi! Oh my god, I'm I can just Whoa. I can just kill people. I can yeah, just I, I can just murder. Barry B. I'm, Benson I'm not, is going I'm rogue. Very, I'm not seeing very good frames per second on my end, but what it looks like for me is it looks like you run into them and they just kinda of phase through the camera. <laughs> yeah. Like like in kind of a semi T pose. Well I, I I hit them and they just kinda of like jump up a little bit. They're just like, wow. Alright, yeah, get that's, out, lady. That's the sound they make. Going rogue! Barry V. Benson is going off the rails! You know, I think you're driving your parents around? No, I'm just picking up random people. I mean these well, I mean, the, just, the, just the, the story here The parents. story here is that I'm I'm doing job trials, right? Because like that was a whole like thread in the movie. <laughs> I'm running through an actual building. Um that, that was like a whole thread in the in the hit film where Barry was like, I need a job. Cause like all the bees needed jobs, right? Uh, well, I think if if I remember correctly, and uh, forgive me, I've only seen this movie once in my life, and that was around uh, when this movie came out, two thousand seven. I believe what ended up happening is uh, the bees took him on a tour. He's like, "Hey, you can get a job doing honey things, or doing honey things, <laughs> or doing honey doing things." Honey th and then he was like, no! I don't want to do honey things! And then he flew with the Alpha Squad, the cool kids, if you will. Woo. Oh man, that's a ramp! I know, that was cool! This game just got 20 times better. <laughs> this game is cool and fun. I guess and I'm supposed fun? to go to this flag on the map? That would make sense to me. Flags are usually a good place to go. Flag on the map, flag on the map, we're gonna go to a flag on the map. Oh, it's another job. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, I'm sure one day you'll meet Rene Zellweger. <laughs> My only dream. Honestly, that's that's the end goal of this game. Meet Rene Zellweger and sue humanity. Alright, and you know what? I think we're gonna get further and closer to that goal next time on GD Cube. I'm, I'm really proud of, like, that... Of that, like, segue you did there. I know, it was good. I mean, we're in, like, 12, 13 minutes now. Also, did you know that, like, on every series that Jerry Seinfeld's in, he's either Barry B. Benson or Jerry Seinfeld? <laughs> no, I didn't. Yeah, 30 Rock, Jerry Seinfeld. Mad About You, Jerry Seinfeld. Curb Your Enthusiasm, Jerry Seinfeld. That includes both the TV series and the movie. The Larry Sanders Show, Jerry Seinfeld. Seinfeld, Jerry Seinfeld. Even before Seinfeld, Carrie Leifer, Gaudi Body in Blue, Jerry Seinfeld. The movie Eddie, Jerry Seinfeld. Top 5, Jerry Seinfeld. Inside Amy Schumer, Jerry Seinfeld. Jim Gaffigan Show, Jerry Seinfeld. He is himself. He can't be anything else. <laughs> He's like Daniel Radcliffe. So while you're while you're doing this, this guy in the uh there's like a voiceover guy right that's like telling me how to do all the jobs that i'm doing and right now yeah. since i'm not doing anything he's just sitting he's just sitting here like hello <laughs> he's like he who's he's who's there 
I know Indian you're out there. Voice. No, it's not like a Jerry Sy. It's just it's like an announcer. He's like, I know you're out there. Anyway, next time on GDQ. Oh, See ya. Be, uh...